magnificent circle traps. Make some noise. <laughs> um, they're going to be bringing you their unique brand of electronic music in a few moments. But first, uh, let's introduce you. So. I'm Jack. And I'm Will. And there's actually Duncan three. Well. Yeah, Duncan's just setting up over there, but we'll hopefully have him here in a few moments. Um, so we're really glad you guys are here tonight. Thank you so much for joining us. It's a little bit chilly, but we're going to warm up very, very soon. Um, so tell me, how did you guys begin Circle Traps and how long have you been going for? Um, we, we, were, we were just mates and we wanted to... We were, always, we were making a lot of music already in other projects and we wanted to start something a bit more like electronic, I guess. And Will was producing um, sort of more techno stuff at the yeah. time. And then we just, yeah, we just were mates and started making tunes together. And that was probably about, probably about two, three years ago. Yeah, something like that. About three years ago. About three years, yeah, yeah. I kind of stayed, started making things in my living room, basically, my studio set up there. And it was quite, yeah, it was quite straightforward. It's quite a fluid transition to just making stuff together. Yeah, yeah. Excellent, excellent. And um, as there are three of you, what are the unique skills that you each bring to Circle Traps to make it what it is? Good question. Um, so I think. What do you bring to I do. Uh, oh, I think Duncan definitely does a lot of the, a lot, a lot of the drum parts, really. I guess. And then I just tend to do some more of the like synth stuff, maybe some more melodic things. And um, <laughs> and will. Uh, what do you do? <laughs> <laughs> I bring it all together. Yeah. I kind of, yeah, yeah, I don't know, sort of edit stuff, mix stuff, produce it a bit, I guess. See the glue. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, we all kind of chip in on bits and bobs here and there, I yeah. guess, but Dunk's main forte, as Jack said, was percussion. Jack's obviously a bit of a keyboard maestro. And I don't know, yeah, we all kind of do bits and bobs, really. Excellent. But yeah, it all kind of comes together somehow. Excellent, excellent. Yeah. And as there are three of you, do you ever have any arguments? Come on, give us some dirt. All the time. <laughs> <laughs> no, not at all. No, no, it's all good. It's good. I oh, know, no, that's boring. Come on. <laughs> I don't know, we have, we have discussions about what we're going to do, but it's never like an argument. It's kind of, it's all quite, you know, peaceful. Good. good. Yeah, we're all reasonable chaps. Reasonable chaps, that's what we like to hear. Um, so your tech setup actually caused quite a bit of excitement with the trailer crew. Um, I think we actually called it the ultimate tech ninja challenge. So there you go. I don't think we've said that before. Um, what do you what do you like about playing live, and what are the challenges that you face? I think you can put a bit more um, when you're playing live, and with our setup, where it's so much about the playing, you can do you can be a bit more like spontaneous with it. Maybe put a bit more feeling into it. You know, you can take it in different directions. Um, and then also, I just, you know, I think the sound of it is, you know, we're using a lot of analog synths and drum machines, and it's got, you know, it's got a particular sound to it. Um, and yeah, and then you get the sort of more interaction between the three people as well, which, and you, you, you know, you get a, a performance more, I suppose, more of a performance than you would do. If you're sort of pre-recorded, there's that element of risk, I think, that, um, that makes it more alive and maybe, maybe more enjoyable for people to watch. That's pretty much it. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> okay, and two of you are in uh, Portico Quartets, and for those of you who don't know, that's a jazz group. Am I right in saying that? Sort of jazz. <laughs> And has that influenced you at all in wanting to play live and how you, you compose your music? Um, I think the, it meant that we cause we'd played a lot live already, you know, we were like quite comfortable performing and so we were able to like use those skills that we'd learned in Portico and bring them into circle traps. So it meant that, it meant that I, I suppose we found that we were a bit more comfortable with like performing live, which I don't think is it's not like that common in electronic music when people mainly their skills are sort of in like production. We also so we thought we'd kind of bring that like that side of our like capabilities to the to the circle traps. Yeah. Thank you. Um, so you guys have had quite a big year this year. You released your Obelisk EP, uh, and if you haven't checked that out, do it. It's on the SoundCloud. It's absolutely brilliant. Uh, how is that for you? And uh, has it, have you have you felt that it's been successful? Uh, yeah, yeah. It was, I mean, it's a nice thing to do. It's, it came together over. I guess we kind of finished most of it early this year, didn't we? Yeah. And then we met with Five Easy Pieces, who put it out for us, and they just yeah, they're really kind of accommodating. 
and yeah, it's been good. You know, it's been quite straightforward, really. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. I'm pretty happy with it. Sounds good. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And have you had any particular influences on this EP or any of your, your work so far? Who wants to take that one? <laughs> well, there's plenty. I mean, it's all, there's so much to kind of base it on, really. I don't know. I guess there's a lot of Andy Stott influence in there, a lot of kind of actress stuff. But then there's a lot more kind of straight up kind of rugged techno y things as well, like, you know, Mike Dennett. And like uh, uh, Coton, people, I don't know, like it's all kinds of things in there, you know? It's like, it's a whole, that's what's nice about the three of us working together because we've all got quite different, not all different tastes, but we've all kind of fur into the pop things that we all like and listen to. And yeah, so there's a lot of influences, I guess. Yeah. And you also played at Dimensions this summer. Uh, how was that for you? Do you have any, any naughty stories for us? <laughs> I'm going to take that silence as yeah, there are some naughty stories. But how was that for you? Did you did you feel like you reached a new audience? Um, I f it was it was really nice to play on like a big stage with a really good system. Um, and that was yeah yeah yeah. And it, it was the first I think it was the best festival we've done in the yeah, yeah, dance, yeah. wasn't it? So it's nice to do that and it's nice to go out to Croatia obviously. Um, yeah, but I think hearing our music on a system that big, where you can really like, it's really physical a lot of it, um, was really, it was really enjoyable. Really enjoyable, actually. Yeah, yeah. And uh, who would you guys like to work with? Uh, is anyone in particular? Have you got anybody that you're, you're working with at the moment or planning to work with? I think we just like working by ourselves, <laughs> don't we? Like honestly, I don't. Yeah. Insular projects. Yeah. Yeah. No. Well, maybe at some point we'd open it up, but like we're just you know making our tunes and it's our sound that we're developing and at some point I would you know I don't know if we I don't know if we'd do as this project working with people maybe it'd be nice to get remixes done by some people like you know but like yeah working with people would probably become something else yeah, like yeah. it wouldn't be there's already working. three of us I guess working together so it's already quite a collaborative thing so then someone else coming into it would be kind of yeah like yeah it'd be kind of it'd be a different thing together isn't it that's my phone's <laughs> Um, so just going back to your EPs, you released your uh, Circle Traps EP back in 2011. Uh, so it's been two years since, uh, well, two years uh, between the two EPs. How have you found how have you found the process different from the first time around? If there were any differences. Well, this now we all share a studio, whereas before it was all done in, my, as I said, in my living room. So now we've kind of we all just work in the same space, whether they're doing portico all our individual things, all circle traps, it's all kind of in the same headspace. I guess that was kind of a different yeah. tack. So we all had the same, you know, yeah. the energy was in the same place the whole time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, excellent. And uh, who are you, uh, so what artists are you looking at at the moment and, and they're actually sort of really enjoying and really sort of getting into? Is there anyone in particular? Um, I've been, no, uh, I've been getting, I've been, I've been actually, I've been into Tim Hecker for quite a long time, but I'm quite into his new album, Genials. Um, that's amazing. Um, and then, I don't know what else I've been into really. Um, I'd have to say there's this guy, Jerry Reed, who I've been quite into recently. He makes really weird techno music, particularly stands out amongst all of those people. Yeah, I do. Things. I really, I was listening to Andy Stott's album today, The Luxury Problems, the most recent one. I don't really like all this stuff, but I think I was really, yeah, really enjoying that. Um, who else? I don't know, lots of people, like New Kids' latest album, yeah. listen to that today as well, it's good. Cool. Like so I've just discovered that's called R2, they released stuff on Royal Oak, it was amazing, like quite sort of rugged. Housey techno stuff that's really good, really good. Yeah. Well, fantastic, check out R2. Uh, now we've got um, an actual video from these guys. Um, it's uh, Obelisk, so uh, stay tuned. We're going to be hearing some amazing tunes. Uh, thank you very much.
was the video obelisk by Circle Traps. Now we've got an absolute amazing feat of technology in the trailer tonight. I want to big up these guys and the trailer crew because they've been absolute technical ninjas. And um, yeah, here we go. Take it away, Circle Traps.
Circle traps in the trailer, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. <laughs> it's cold outside, but it's definitely warming up in here. Let's hear it one more time. Circle traps.